Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Nick Tan Chats, my magic and mostly mentalism review show. My name is Nick Tan and on today's episode, I'll be chatting with you guys about Odyssey by Louis Laval and Peter Turner. So hi again guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for showing up, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for spending some time with me today. So uh, today's episode of Nick Tan Chats will probably be the last and final episode of 2023. So any other you know outstanding reviews you know that any of you might be waiting for uh, will have to wait until next year in 2024. So today's episode, I'll be chatting about something called Odyssey, okay, that is put out by Louis Laval along with Peter Turner, and you can find this over at uh, Minehouse. So in a nutshell, uh, what is Odyssey? Well, Odyssey is uh, a masterclass, okay, in the Q and A Act, okay, the Question and Answer Act, which you know many mentalists, all right, would consider to be the ultimate uh, effect, the ultimate routine uh, in mentalism. So if you're not familiar with the Q and A Act, what usually happens is the whole audience is asked to think of uh, a question, all right, that they'd like uh, an answer to. You know, the kind of question that they would go and ask a psychic. All right, if they were to you know, go for a psychic reading. At that point, the performer would be just you know, stood on stage with apparently nothing at all. And then you know, he would start to receive like, you know, names, you know, initials, birthdays, uh, star signs. You know, and then he would identify uh, a particular audience member. Okay? And that person is then asked to stand. They are then asked to focus on their question. The mind reader, uh, the psychic, all right, would then uh, get their question. And then they would also offer uh, an answer all right, to, to that question. And then at which point uh, the participant sits down and the process is repeated again. You know, the mentalist just somehow receives information about people in the audience, you know, people stand, they think of their questions and the mentalist just offers his psychic answers. And that's it, right? Uh, that is the Q&A Act. Now, I think what makes it so strong is that it deals with people's lives. It really involves them in a way that no other you know, mentalism routine can, all right? Because, well, it is one thing to tell someone about, you know, which word in a book they're thinking of, but it's another thing altogether when you can tell them uh, things about their personal life. You know, will their business be successful? Uh, will their daughter get to university? Will they get a promotion next week? Will they find love again? You know, that sort of thing. So I think, as you can see, right, it already kind of connects and it touches people uh, on a completely different level. So personally for me as a professional performer, and I've, I've touched on this before in previous episodes, all right, but um, well, I do perform Q&A, you know, sometimes, okay, because I think in the environments that I work in, all right, mainly the, the corporate dinner and dance environment, uh, I don't get to do the act very often. And even if I do, I don't exactly perform a Q&A act. You know, I tend to perform something that's, well, I suppose more acceptable, you know, uh, in the form of um, an audience reading kind of a routine where, you know, I get people to stand, um, I tell them their name, and then I, I reveal information about themselves, right? For example, you know, um, they have a cat at home, you know, or, you know, they have a, a blue car and the license plate is 5178, that kind of a thing, right? Personal information about themselves. So. It's more of an audience reading effect. And you know, the only times I get to do a true Q&A act, you know, where audience members think of questions, you know, it, they tend to be in a kind of um, a show where it tends to be a smaller show, you know, or in a kind of lecture, kind of an environment, right? Like a university, um, that kind of a thing, you know, where I, I feel I've got more artistic license, you know, in a theatre, for example, you know, not in a kind of commercial, you know, dinner and dance kind of a show where everything is just so busy and people aren't really just, you know, able to focus on, you know, on the show itself. I think after doing Q&A for a while, what you will notice is that, well, getting the questions is one thing, you know, I think the real skill in, in performing Q&A is in the delivering of the answers. I think answering the questions in a way that's entertaining, you know, uh, meaningful and tactful. Okay, I think uh, those are really important, uh, especially when you're doing, you know, things to deal with people, right? And, and their, their feelings and their thoughts and their wishes about their own lives. But, you know, enough about me and my experience with Q&A. You know, I've, I'm not like a master, you know, by any means, all right? So uh, let's talk about uh, some people, okay, who are actually able to give you more information about Q&A than I am. 
So what do you get when you purchase Odyssey? Well, Odyssey comes to you uh, in seven chapters. Okay, they're all video files and the whole video project stretches for about four and a half hours. So it did take me uh, some time, all right, to work through uh, the entire video project. Along with that, okay, you will also get uh, a shorter video where uh, Louis and Peter will take you through some of the close-ups, you know, uh, when it comes to some of the moves, the, the physical moves that are involved uh, in performing uh, some of the routines. You will also be given a PDF, uh, which I believe is about 140 over pages, you know, worth of information. Um, I haven't gone through exactly what is covered in there yet, you know, but on a preliminary run through, you know, there's uh, advice by Lewis about how to answer questions. Uh, Peter gives you, you know, ideas about, um, you know, cartomancy, star signs, uh, how to create your own anagrams as well. So it really is uh, just packed full of information. So the project is not shot in a kind of, you know, lecture style video, right, that we, we tend to be used to, you know, it's actually uh, Louis and along with Peter uh, sat at a table, you know, with just a whole group of friends where uh, Louis and Peter would just talk about Q&A, you know, they would share ideas and it really just feels like, you know, a very casual kind of a mentalism jam session. So I've gone through uh, all seven chapters, all right, on Odyssey, okay, so I will try to tell you uh, like a brief kind of a summary, you know, of, of most of the stuff that um, Lewis and Peter talk about, okay, and well, it's not going to be easy to include everything because there's just so much, you know, there's really just so much information uh, and so much that, you know, they discuss, all right, uh, about Q&A, you know, and about mentalism in general as well. And um, also, I think what you'll find you know interesting is that the style that the whole discussion was done in you know as i mentioned it was really casual right so you know it was fun to just watch lewis and peter just kind of giving each other ideas to build on top of each other's ideas in fact i think some things were like created you know or shared on the spot that neither of them probably intended to share to begin with you know, but it was just um, on the spur of the moment, you know, just great ideas and, you know, they just threw it out there, all right? So, Lewis can be talking about something and then, you know, Peter would just say, you know what, you know what else would be good? You know what else you can do? You could, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then Lewis will reply, you know what, you know, this is actually something that, blah, blah, and, and, you know, they just go back and forth, back and forth. And uh, while at times, you know, it starts to go off uh, on like a different path altogether, you know, from what they wanted to talk about. But um, nonetheless, I found it um, really interesting, you know, just to listen to them uh, just speaking so passionately about mentalism. So let's now uh, briefly talk about what is uh, actually covered on Odyssey, okay? Again, I've only gone through the project once, okay? I will probably go through it uh, a second or third time uh, just to pick out some more ideas that I might have missed along the way. So uh, Lewis um, and Peter, all right, they'll both uh, at the start of the whole project teach you uh, a peek, all right? So Lewis will teach you a peek, you know, there's a handling where he does uh, a peek with a, with a pack of uh, billets, all right, a stack of billets. Uh, Peter has a handling of a similar thing as well. You know, uh, but both of them, uh, well, they will just share ideas again, right, back and forth. But both of these uh, peaks, really simple to do, uh, really bulletproof, I think. You know, as long as you are able to handle uh, a small packet of billets, you know, you should have no problems uh, getting these peaks to work for you. They will also uh, give you ideas, all right, about how to use one of mentalism's really, well, well-known uh, principles, all right, in uh, performing the Q&A, okay? Um, so I was, I was pretty... Uh, impressed, you know, with the amount of material that they have, um, you know, in just using this one principle alone. Lewis will talk about his uh, Delphi Q&A, you know, using his OTT move, which, you know, he has published before and I, I have talked about as well before on my channel. And Peter will describe to you how to use that principle uh, in getting, you know, multiple hits, all right, in a Q&A, all right, in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, kind of a Q&A setting. Peter will also teach you uh, this propless name guess, okay, and uh, which he does demonstrate, you know, uh, he just gets, um, you know, someone to think of a name, right, and with nothing written down, uh, he, he nails the name. So that was pretty uh, fascinating to watch, I think. And, you know, speaking of peaks, right, and using of, uh, you know, blank billets in the context of uh, Q&A, right, I think, um, you know, Peter and Lewis have both reminded us, you know, that uh, there are many moves that we learn you know, card moves um, that, you know, are really applicable, you know, even when performing mentalism. There will also be some tips uh, and some advice on how to answer questions, 
Because, you know, as I mentioned, right, getting the questions is one thing, you know, and I think most of us, if not all of us, are able to get the questions, right, just using some, some sort of mechanical means, right? But when it comes to answering the questions, that is where I think the real skill in performing Q&A lies. So Odyssey begins with like, you know, performing Q&A one-on-one, right, for just one person. And then it kind, of, it kind of builds along the way where they start talking about routines involving multiple people. And when I say multiple people, you know, it can just be for a group, you know, that is set with you at a table, or it can also be performed uh, like on stage, you know, on, in a small stage setting uh, for a larger audience as well. Peter uh, also talks about um, a really simple way, you know, of uh, well, marking billets. Okay, because once you get, you know, involved with uh, routines with multiple people, right, there will be multiple billets involved. So uh, he shares with you a really simple way uh, that you can use, you know, on the fly, all right, to uh, mark your billets. There is also a really simple uh, Q&A method uh, that Peter will, will talk about, just using one simple card slide, you know, and I thought, um, yeah, that was, that was really clever, actually, you know, just one move uh, and you can get everyone's thought at the table. There are also ideas uh, about how to have the effect, right, uh, live on, right, after, you know, the performance has ended. Right? And I think they've, they've called this concept like uh, a gift of sorts, you know, where they leave the spectator with a, a small gift, you know, which will kind of move on after the performance has ended, right? So the, the spectator kind of is, you know, left with a small token and that kind of allows your performance, you know, to kind of live on uh, in the spectator's lives, right? Long after uh, your time with them has ended. So on top of the methods, right, uh, to, to gain information, you know, and uh, about answering questions, I think an interesting part about uh, the video was also, you know, presentations and plots, all right, and, and visuals as well that uh, you can create. You know, Peter shared something really interesting uh, that involved like a whole theater, all right, uh, in darkness. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll leave it at that, you know, but picturing that idea, you know, playing out, you know, I think it's a really interesting uh, and really quite a beautiful sight, you know, uh, to have uh, when performing a Q&A. For most of us, right, performing mentalism, we tend to say that mentalism isn't as visual, you know, a performance art, all right, but, you know, with some of these ideas that Peter shares, it can turn into something quite, uh, quite visual. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff, right? There is a Q&A that is like propless, you know, where spectators come up with questions, obviously, but they also supply the answers. Yeah, <laughs> which I thought was quite interesting because you are not really doing anything of the usual thing, you know, that you are usually used to doing, right? We need to get the questions and then come up with the answers. Uh, in this particular routine, the, the spectators give the questions and spectators themselves give the answers as well, you know, so you're kind of like performing in that weird in-between area, okay, which I thought was a really interesting approach to the whole thing. There was also a section uh, on using playing cards within a Q&A, you know, so, you know, things like cartomancy, you know, along those lines, right? And this uh, brings to mind uh, another project, you know, on Mindhouse called Devil Knows, which I also have uh, done an episode for on my channel, so you can, you can look that up uh, if you're interested to find out more. But uh, yeah, Lewis will uh, perform, you know, um, a piece with, with playing cards, you know, and uh, he gives you ideas about how to perform um, readings using, you know, playing cards. And then Peter will jump on in, you know, and perform and teach another one of his routines as well uh, using a deck of playing cards right along a similar line so if you go online uh, on YouTube right uh, you can look up uh, you know a performance of a Q&A you know that Louis has has uploaded you know it's a full performance uh, look up the parlor room seance I believe you know at the Oracle bar Louis actually breaks down that performance uh, on this uh, video as well okay so he, he tells you you know exactly how to perform the act um, the methods involved, you know, and some of the problems that he faced along the way. That performance is not included with this project, but uh, again, the full video is on YouTube, you know, just look it up uh, and you should be able to find it. So you can actually watch the performance of that, all right, in, you know, for real world people, uh, and then come back to this and watch the explanation. So yeah, you know, those are kind of like the main things, you know, that I can kind of talk about, all right, just to kind of give you an overview of what Odyssey is about, you know. But again, there's just a lot of information um, that is presented to you, right, on this project. And uh, again, I like the style that it was done in, you know, it really felt like 
I was, you know, kind of sat at the table and, and just listening to Lewis and Peter just talk about mentalism. But all in, you know, I thought it was a great project uh, to go through, you know, to learn from. And I think if you are uh, a mentalist, you know, if you're you know, really interested in this sort of thing, then I think it's well worth um, just sitting through this and just listening to both of them just discuss uh, mentalism. Now, I will also tell you that uh, if you are quite, you know, experienced, you know, in, in mentalism, right, you probably won't find anything like new, all right, in terms of methods, okay, uh, when it comes to performing, you know, th the effects, all right, the routines that are taught on this project. However, I think uh, while I was not able to learn new methods, I think what was of value was that it showed me different ways of applying uh, these methods, you know, and I think that that actually is more valuable, I think, than learning just another method, right? Because we all have so many methods, but uh, it's always more interesting to me at least, right, to learn how I can apply these methods, you know, in different, different directions. All right, but you know, I don't want this video to go on for too long. Uh, again, if you are interested in mentalism, you know, Q&A style uh, routines, then um, you can also have a look at Odyssey from Mindhouse. And I think, you know, if you are a fan of Lewis uh, or Peter Turner, uh, you will definitely get uh, a lot of fun out of watching this video. All right, I want to thank uh, Louis Laval over at Mindhouse for really generously uh, letting me have a look at Odyssey so that I can watch it, learn the material, and also chat about it with you guys on this show. If you are interested to have a look at Odyssey for yourselves, I will leave the link in the description box down below. All right, but that's all for today's episode, guys, and that's all for the year as well. All right, so thank you all for your support thus far in 2023, and I hope uh, I can continue uh, to do these videos for you in 2024. So before I go, uh, Merry Christmas, all right, and also a Happy New Year to all my subscribers out there. But for now, uh, thanks for watching. Do take care of yourselves, have fun with your magic and your mentalism, and I will see you on the next episode of Nick Tan Chats.